Welcome to this tutorial involving Oaks content, specifically adding videos stored in the drive to Oaks and VoiceThread. The first question you might ask is, why is my video in the drive? And I'll tell you, when you make a video on a cell phone, sometimes it's easier to get it to your computer by adding it to your Google Drive than it would be to just email the file. Yes, you can do a direct upload to YouTube, but this is for those of you who have videos in your Google Drive and you want to know what to do with them. If you've created a tutorial video on your cell phone that you want to move into your drive and you don't know where to find it, when you first upload to the drive, it goes to the general drive. So if you look where my mouse is circling, this is a video I just added to my drive. I like to keep all my videos in the same place and I like for them to have titles. So if your video uploads without a title, you simply right click on it, then click rename and you can rename your clip whatever you'd like. Then what I do is create a file for your videos and then drag your video into the file so you always know where to find them. If you want to upload a video from your drive to a Google slide presentation, here's the best way. So I'm going to my drive where there's a video of Burton Calicott talking about the library. And the first thing I need to do is either right click on this to hit share, or I can double click on the video and then do the upper right hand corner ellipsis right here to hit share. And I need to check out the privacy. So right now, anyone on the internet with this link can view it. However, the default is anyone from the College of Charleston or this is restricted. So if you find that this is restricted, that means that only people you share the video with can see. So you want to change it to anyone with the link. And then you're going to hit done. When you go back to the Google slide presentation, you simply go to insert video. Burton's video is the first thing here. I click it and select it and it creates the video on the slide. Notice to the right, it'll show me the video playback, and I can also either play it here, like this. The library also. Or I can actually view the presentation and view it like this. The library also offers an elective one credit hour. So this is how you would upload it into a Google Slides presentation. Then if you wanted to embed this on Oaks, you simply hit the share button again to check the privacy. So anyone on the internet with this link can view. I'm going to copy my link and then I'm going to go to my module. So what I can do is I can click new, create link. Then I put in the URL and then I can say Google Slides. And I'm going to choose to keep it in Oaks. If I open as an external resource, it will not log the progress. And I hit Create. And now my presentation is here. So when students look at it, I'll be a fake student now. They go to Content. They can click on Google Slides. It takes them to the slideshow and watch the video. The library also offers an elective one. However, if you thought, well, why not just upload the video link? That is a really wonderful question to ask. So I'm going to go back as an instructor and I can just grab this link as well. I click the link, I copy it. I go back to my class, new, create a link, and then video. I hit create, and now it's here for me. But when I go to be a fake student, it gets kind of complicated. I go to content, I go to my video link, and it will ask me to either log into Gmail or it will tell me there was a problem playing the video and ask me to download. So actually embedding it in the slides is the best way to go here. 
if I want to embed this video into VoiceThread, I go about this a little differently. So the first thing I want to do is download this video as a file. And now it's an MP4 and it just takes a moment to download. I go to my VoiceThread site and I'm already creating one. It says add media. And what I can do is just drag and drop this file right here. It wants me to give it a title. I'm going to say library video. This will be the name of this voice thread. I hit save. And then it just takes a moment to upload. It takes a couple of moments for a video to upload to VoiceThread, but once it does, you see a little icon and you can hit comment to add more to it. The library also offers an elective one credit hour. So students can watch this entire video here, or if you want to add extra comments, you can do it the way you always do it in VoiceThread. Audio or video comments will also include the doodle tools. So you can also draw attention to things in the video using the Doodle tool, and students will actually see it when they look at this slide. But when students come into this slide, audio or video comments will also include the Doodle tool, so you can also draw attention to things in the video using the Doodle tool, and students will actually see it. The library also offers an elective one credit hour. So that comment lives at the beginning before the video in VoiceThread. Unfortunately, if I upload this as a PowerPoint into VoiceThread, the video will not work. I'll try it though. So I go to File, Download. And what you wanna do if you're ever uploading slides into VoiceThread, it works much better if you download them as a PDF, whether this is Google Slides or PowerPoint. So I've downloaded, I go to VoiceThread, I'm gonna add more media from my computer. And I'm gonna to go to my downloads where I've got how to upload videos. I open, this will just take a moment. It processes my slides and when I go to comment, I cannot play this video. So the best way to do it is to upload that video directly into VoiceThread. If I want to save these videos, YouTube is a great place outside of the drive. And what I can do is I can go to my personal channel. So you click the icon with your name, click on your channel, and that takes you here where you can upload videos. So I can add from my computer, I can drag and drop. So I click upload video and it takes me to this little drag and drop screen. And I've got my Burton library video. I drag it here. It takes a moment to upload. I'm calling it Burton Library Clip 1, and I'm also going to make it unlisted. So anyone with the video link can watch my video, and I can hit save, and eventually this will be on my YouTube channel. Now that my video is on YouTube, I can click on the video to watch it, where I can find a video link. And when I'm there, I can do one of two things to share this in Oaks. I can hit share and I can copy the link. I can go to my Oaks content, new link, and then title, create, and the video is embedded as a fake student. I simply go to my content module again and I click the video clip link. And since it's in YouTube, I can play it here. I'm an even bigger fan of embedding videos into Oaks. So I simply hit share. I can click the embed code. I copy this code. I go to my video module. I hit new video or audio. I'm going to embed. I'm going to save and that video will be embedded into this module. So as a student, I go to my video module, I click the clip, and here it is.